What's up guys, it's Brad from jb 2 d here. Today I'm going to be offering a little quick tip on how to make your visual effects shots a little bit more dynamic. A very quick video, just uh, thought this might be interesting to share. So yeah, let's get started here. I have a few of my uh, shots from the 2054 Los Angeles trailer that I uh, recently uploaded to YouTube. Nothing really special, just using them for the sake of example. So this is the first shot I'm going to analyze here. If you've been doing video or film for a while, you probably know that creating layers of light and dark um, and layers uh, in general of depth within your scene is a good idea. Right, and one of the ways you can do this is by uh, having foreground objects within your scene. So for example, this shot, as you can see, we have the sky background. Then we have uh, a little bit closer, we have our buildings here, right? Um, with some graffiti and whatnot on there. Um, and then even closer, we have these lamps, these foreground objects. Now, in some cases, this, these foreground objects might be distracting and you might not want them there. But again, just for the sake of example, they do offer a sense of depth to the scene. Let's get to go to the next image here. Okay, so this is, let's see, turn this on. Right, so this is another shot from the trailer I did. Again, we have some layers within this composition. We have uh, the background city, right? It's just a picture that I added in later. If we just use this image, it would seem relatively flat, which might be what you're going for, it might not be. But generally, as I said before, if you add more layers of things, you get more depth, right? Uh, now, as, as soon as we add our next layer, the actual footage, um, we get a little more depth to the scene. We have this foreground lamp here. Um, we have the buildings kind of framing the background. And then, even further, I decided to add a, another foreground uh, element, uh, this dark smoke, right? And now we have another element kind of framing the scene. Okay, let's go to the next shot here. So if you're, if you're planning on adding visual effects to a shot and you don't have a green screen, if you're going to shoot through something, if you're going to shoot through a foreground object, it can be hard to composite in elements beyond that foreground object without a green screen. So what you can do is you can add them later, right? So in this case, um, we have our original footage here, uh, right? And then we added in our drone and its shadow, right? And now we're going to add more elements within the scene to create a little more depth. First of all, we added an atmosphere layer, just some smoke to add a little more uh, uh, kind of grime to the scene. And then finally, I added this foreground object that was very close to the camera, which is the picture of this chain link fence. And as you can see, I just used a picture for this foreground object. Um, it's just a picture of this chain link fence. And I set it uh, its mode to multiply kind of key out the background so it's just a chain link fence. After doing that we can composite it over our original footage because as we know if you're focused on the background and you have something in the foreground if your aperture is open wide enough the foreground is going to be blurry so you can take advantage of this and uh, go ahead and blur the foreground object right that's when I added this fast blur blends everything together um, and adds a nice little foreground element which makes the shot a little bit more dynamic. I do it again here in this shot, I have this sign. It's kind of a flat image right here. We add the moon, that's one more layer. But then as soon as we add our foreground object, the chain link fence, which I use the same technique that I showed you earlier, um, now we get a little bit more of a dynamic shot. And uh, once we animate the fence moving across, now we get a little more depth in our scene. Another example of, of adding a foreground object to create more depth is in this map painting of the Los Angeles subway. One of the things I did here was I added a trash can in the foreground, this element right here. But I just took this picture of a trash can, right? It's just literally like if you couldn't add this anywhere in the scene, you have to have it in the foreground to hide some of its flaws. Um, but I literally took this picture of a trash can. There's our picture. I added a color key to key out most of the white. Then I uh, changed the uh, levels a little bit to blend it a little bit more into the scene. And then I added a fast blur, right? And the fast blur, again, you're creating that depth of field that would occur within the camera if the camera was focused on something in the background and something in the foreground was right in front of it. Without the blur, you know, you're not really selling anything, everything's in focus. But if you can blur something and you add it in the foreground, the audience will be able to buy it a lot better. Anyway, that's it, guys. Just a little quick tip on uh, how you can make your shots a little bit more dynamic. 
by adding a foreground object later in post so you can blend everything a little bit better. Be sure to like this video if you thought it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. The JVS Media Facebook page is in the description below. If you want to like it there to get the latest updates, feel free to do so. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, I'll be coming out with these quick tip videos, uh, hopefully daily. Um, and that's what I'm going to try to do. So uh, yeah, let me know if you uh, have any uh, questions or suggestions, and I'll uh, I'll go back to you. I'll see you guys next time.